She was famous she's, for. Yeah. Now nah, she she actually was National Player of the Year though. So. Yeah, I mean, I know about her, but um, yeah. let, let's let's move along, man. Um, to hell with her. That's where she's going. Yeah, well, well, and oh, pussy and pride yeah. kill more black people yeah, than sickle cell. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> yeah, man. Was that out loud? Oh, I said, oh. Yeah. That was a good yeah. one. Oh, I said, oh, here we go. They raised the gun to begin shooting, and I raised mine, and we just start shooting. Whoa. The victim there describes his horrifying encounter with a pair of would-be robbers near his home in North Philadelphia. Tonight, hear how he turned the tables in his own words. <laughs> It's a Next News exclusive. A 71-year-old man who was shot while stopping an attempted robbery speaks out about his ordeal. Action News reporter Katie Catro joins us live from police headquarters with details tonight. Katie. And Walter, that man did speak exclusively with us tonight, sharing what he went through on Thursday night. That night, I will keep my hand on my pistol in my pocket in case I have to pull it out, which it... This is a 71-year-old man who has to live like this, man. Yo. And Scott, and y'all mad at Scott Adams. Y'all mad at Scott Adams and this 71-year-old man living like this, like a fucking goddamn, like, this This is a tough life, man, to live, And you man. see his eyes when he's remembering that sh that stuff? That was just, you know, sheer panic in those eyes. Yeah. At night, I will keep my hand on my pistol in my pocket in case I have to pull it out, which it, it finally came to reality that I had to use it. 71-year-old Henry Joel speaks exclusively to Action News while in his hospital room. He tells what happened Thursday night when two men tried to rob him, but he fought back. I saw two guys standing in, in, a, in the area with ninja outfits on. Mask, like mask, I said, they mask. it's a work uniform. You sly yeah. devil. Ah uh, uh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, <gasps> man. This is this is this is the stand. This is how you this is what this is what this guy has to go through. And this is Be, being hunted every day. This is what Reese be talking about. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like <sighs> it's it's real like that, man. It's real like that. Fucking ninjas, Standing man, every time. In the area with ninja outfits on. Oh. They look like twins. <laughs> and they had gun to, each of them had a gun in their hand. Joel says he was walking on the 2400 block of North 10th Street, coming home around 1115 at night after picking up Chinese takeout. He says the men approached him and said, don't move. I raised mine and we just start shooting. I don't know if I hit one of them, but I'm pretty sure I had to because they was in, in the area where I was at, basically. And well, I got shot in the bottom part of the leg, which broke my bone. He's recovering at Temple University Hospital tonight. He got shot in the leg. That old so man. he had it in his pocket. He tried to pull it out of his pocket, shot himself in the leg, and then shot a few in the direction of the assailants. Is that what happened? One you more reason why you need to have a holster. I don't think he shot himself. They shot him. Had a gun in their hand. Joel says he was walking on the 2400 block of North 10th Street, coming home around 1115 at night after picking up Chinese takeout. He says the men approached him and said, don't move. I raised mine and we just start shooting. I don't know if I hit one of them, but I'm pretty sure I had to because they was in, in the area where I was at, basically. And I got shot in the bottom part of the leg, which broke my bone. He's recovering at Temple University Hospital tonight. He says he is licensed to carry working security. He says he has a message for the would-be robbers. Stop and think before you act. What's the point? What are you trying to make the point of? You're gangsters now or whatever? You think you're going to get recognition? You're going to become a star or something? Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, they, they can always become rappers. You can always become a rapper after you fucking live a life of crime. That is or a community activist. Or community yeah, activist. Put you on the Nickelodeon and uh, award shows. Oh yeah. I mean it's it's it, there's a lot of um avenues for ex cons in the black community. And it has to be. <laughs> and how sad is it this guy's seventy two years old and still has to work? Yeah. Yeah, man. Doing security of all things. That's North yeah. Philly, by the way. 
Yeah, definitely, man. This is this is the north of death, man. What's the point? What are you trying to make the point of? You gangsters now or whatever? You think you're gonna get recognition? You're gonna become a star or something? They're not gonna put you in no movies. Put you in the ground. Who? Now, Ooh. police say it's still not clear if those would-be robbers were shot at. They are still looking for them. Reporting live at police headquarters, Katie Catro, Fraction News at 10 on PHL 17. Walter. All right, Katie. Wow. What She's a unsure they were shot at. Did you hear what she just said? New at 10, it's been nearly a week since a shootout on iconic Beale Street. That's what a fucked up life to live, man. I mean, God damn. He might have been an old, old gangster. Uh, he might have been an old, like, criminal or something. He, he said something about putting them in a movie. That's a little saying over here in Philly. Like, big story next. Yeah, but he He's wouldn't just... be able to get in his concealed weapons permit. He said he, was, yeah, he said he was a um, security guard. Yeah, but when he said um, he was making those little statements about putting